I would like to know more about the decline of the Nisenon people in and around Auburn. The Richard Johnson data estimates there were 7,000 Nisenon here in 1848. By 1850, their numbers had been reduced by half. How and why did that happen? By 1867, their numbers had fallen to 500. In 2020, they say only 18 remain. Is this information factual? Thank you for your question about the pre-contact Nisenon Indian population in California. Before I get into details, I want to first caution you about using terms like factual. These are population estimates, and they're just that, estimates. And to give you an example of how the estimates for the population of American Indians have changed over time, I'm going to first discuss the population estimates for North America, then California, and finally the Nisenon. For North America, the population estimates have varied widely, from a low of 720,000 by Alfred Kroeber in 1939 to a high of 18 million by Henry Dobbins in 1983. But most anthropologists lean toward a range of 2 to 7 million. In California, estimates have ranged from a low of 133,000 to a high of 1.5 million. Today, most anthropologists accept Sherborne Cook's 1976 estimate of 310,000. But it should be noted that in 1996, physiologist William Preston argued that epidemics swept through California well before the mission period began. This suggests that most population est estimates are low. Bottom line is, we really don't know. And that brings us to the Nisenon. To date, I've seen only one estimate, and that one was by Richard Johnson, who estimated that the pre-Gold Rush Nisenon population was about 7,000. But there are more than 18 living today. Sadly, it's still a low number, but there are 147 in Nevada City alone, and more living in Placer and El Dorado counties. Dates, numbers, and facts are the medium in which historians, archaeologists, and museum professionals like to work. But when it comes to something like population estimates as opposed to an organized census, I believe it does more harm than good to attach significance to the numbers that there's no real way to verify. You can tell the horrific story of how European contact and the gold rush all but erased the California Indian population without using numbers. It's a story of death not only by epidemics and violence, but also by starvation as their traditional hunting and fishing grounds were taken away by miners. This stress led to a dramatic drop in the birth rate, which caused their population to plummet to a small fraction of what it had once been. And to answer the last part of your question about disease, the story of the Nisenon is not unlike that of other California Indians. Diseases don't care about tribal borders. Diseases such as malaria, cholera, and smallpox, just to name a few, ravaged California Indian populations. Some were brought in by travelers from around the world, while others may have spread from faraway tribes that were already suffering from contact with Europeans. I hope that answers your question, Anne. Thank you for asking.